Oh, okay, Joanna, yeah. No, I can hear you fine. Yes, loud and clear. Okay. Yeah, all right. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the cell phone is now working. The signal is loud and clear. Thanks, Rudy. Yeah, thanks. It's always been so hard to hear on a cell phone in this building. Yeah. Uh, that'll just be our community phone, so I'll just keep it by the board. Thanks, Rudy. You are a handy man to have around. You're not only the technical director, but you're also the telephone doctor. Yeah, Rudy, you're a good man. Now, will you do me a favor? See if you got anything to get this off. It's glued on. Uh, sure, I wouldn't do that, Rudy. <laughs> Gotcha, Rudy. Working on a new routine, Gates? Just a practical joke. You mean Rudy fell for that? Yes, of course. I'm a good actor. Uh, Rudy, could you open this for me, please? I think it's glued on. <laughs> sure, Gates. Bong. Rudy, you mean to tell me you've never seen that joke before? Can't say that I have. We tried to warn him. <laughs> that is one of the best practical jokes ever. Works every time. I don't like practical jokes. Neither do I. Why not? Because someone always ends up getting hurt, that's why. Oh, come on. Most practical jokes are harmless. Well, they start out that way, but someone always ends up getting hurt in the end. That's right. Someone always ends up taking it too far. Well, then we won't let it go too far. We'll set some rules. Rules for what? Rules for our practical joke contest. What practical joke contest? The one we're going to have this week to see who can come up with the best practical joke. You can count me out. Me too. <laughs> me three. No way. Uh, oh, I'll get that. Listen, you guys haven't even heard the rules yet. Uh, what rules? Uh, okay. uh, Rule number one. All practical jokes have to be harmless so nobody gets hurt. That's what they all say, Gates. Rule number two, all practical jokes have to be Christian. They have to have something pertaining to spiritual things and the Lord. You mean like a Christian practical joke? Yeah, if there is such a thing. Now, how harmful can that be? He's got a good point there. Plus, it'll add a little more excitement to the week. I don't know, Gates. Oh, come on, Jamie. They have to be harmless. They have to be Christian. Not that any of you are going to be much competition to me. <laughs> Especially the ladies. Uh, wait a minute. After that remark, I think I might be willing to give it a go. Me too. <laughs> I knew that would get him in. How about you, Travis? No, I don't think so. Oh, come on. The ladies are going to be in. Uh, they'll be harder to get than you. Really? I have a sudden change of mind. I think I will play. <laughs> How about you, Jamie? Travis and the ladies gonna play? I don't know. Come on, Jamie. Gates is getting a pretty big head. Okay, I'm in. Great. It's Christian Practical Joke Week at the 7th Street Theater. And we'll vote on Friday, just before dress rehearsal, to see who is the best practical joker. <laughs> hey, hold on, everybody. Uh, that was Mr. Wheeler on the phone. He wants to know if we could do a special show on Friday night for about 250 teenagers. Uh, seems they're coming in from around the region for a youth event. And the regional youth director is actually good friends with Mr. Wheeler. So if we could do it for Mr. Wheeler, we'd be doing him a big favor. Sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, but 250 teenagers? Where are we going to put them all? This place only holds 212. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Wheeler's aware of this. Uh, we'll have to bring in some extra chairs, and we can put them in the aisles or some on the floor or on the ceiling. I don't know. <laughs> They're teenagers. That'll be no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Um, now, he also wanted to personalize the show, so he was going to come and ask some of you or all of you to put together a special routine or act or something. Yeah, cool. yeah. That's 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 that. Okay, so I can tell him the show's on then? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, everybody. Now, back to our practical joke contest. Wait a minute, Gates. Now we've got this extra show, and the week's going to be busier than usual, so maybe we should just postpone it. Oh, come on, Jamie. We can all work real hard. We can do both. Well, I don't know. Oh, come on. You're the guy I want to get the most. You guys still game? Oh, yeah. Sure. I want to get Gates. Me too. Me three. OK, it's Christian Practical Joke Week at the 7th Street Theater. Great. I got to get going. I got a lot of planning to do. All right, little snake can, who are we gonna get first? Uh-huh, and how are we gonna do it? Oh, that might work. Well, then who are we gonna get next? Uh-huh, and how do we get her? Oh, I don't have to work on that. And who do we get after that? The other her, and how do we do it? Oh, that will work. Maybe we can get them both together. Then there'll only be one to get. 
Uh-huh. I thought you'd say that. All right, little snake can, are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> You're ready. Hey, Travis. Hey, Rudy. Hey, um, Mr. Wheeler has got something special he'd like you to do for the teen show Friday night. Oh, okay. Uh, it seems we've got about 15 different groups coming in for this event, and each one of them was asked to submit a poem for a competition they're doing. Um, Friday night, the winner will be announced in red. Now, Mr. Wheeler wanted to know if you'd be able to come up with a little poem to introduce that segment. <laughs> a poem? Yeah, it doesn't have to be an epic or anything, just a few stanzas to get the idea across. <laughs> I don't know, Rudy. I, I am not good at writing poems. Travis, you're good at everything. Come on. And Joanna's got all the details for you. Just go see her first chance you get. <laughs> I still don't know, Rudy. I mean, I have never <laughs> been good at writing poems. You can do this. I know you can. And it'll mean a lot to the kids. They'll know you did it just for them. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, I'll do it. Okay. I need some time to work on it, though. All right. All right, we'll just talk to Joanna when you're ready. Okay. Thanks, Travis. Hey, ladies. Hey, Rudy. Hi, Rudy. Hey, uh, I was talking to Mr. Wheeler, and we've got a song we'd like you guys to do at the show Friday night. Oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah. Uh, it seems some of the youth groups coming in, they were on a missions trip to Mexico this summer, and they're going to be talking about it at the meeting. So what we'd like you to do is a song in Spanish to introduce it, uh, kind of set the stage for their presentation. In Spanish? I barely know English, Rudy. Yeah, the only Spanish I know is Spanish rice. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Uh, look, Mr. Wheeler knows you don't speak Spanish, but what we've got is a Christian song. It's in Spanish. It was the theme song for their mission trip. Now, he's got it on CD for you, so all you'd have to do is learn it. And it's got the lyrics printed out. So just from listening to it, you should be able to learn all the words. You think you can do that? I don't know, Rudy. In Spanish? Oh, come on. You can do it. I was really terrible at English, Rudy. I mean it. You are very talented. You can do it. Oh. <laughs> come on. It'll show him you did your homework. Yeah, we'll do it. That's the spirit. We'll give it a try. I'll have the CD to you as soon as I get it. I should have it today sometime. Okay, thanks. Okay, thanks, okay. ladies. You're See welcome. ya. Hey, Joanna. Hey, Gates. Got a couple of scripts for you. Why, thank you. Stay away from me with that thing. What? That snake in the can. I hate those things. I wasn't going to do anything with it. That's not what I heard. And what did you hear? I heard that you got Rudy with it this morning. Who told you that? A snake in the grass. <laughs> this is one of the best practical jokes ever. Works every time. Well, just make sure it doesn't work on me because I hate those things. Why? Did someone pull a joke on you before using one of these? As a matter of fact, they have. At the bank where I used to work, someone put one in my cash drawer. And when I opened that drawer and that thing jumped out at me, I never screamed so loud in my life. <laughs> Gates, it was not funny. Not at all. And this was supposed to be a good Christian brother who did this. Let me ask you something. This, um, good Christian brother, was he single? Come to think of it, he was. And are you single? Yes. Well, there you have it. He was just trying to send you a message that he liked you. Huh? Yeah. When guys like girls, they usually do something stupid like that. Gates, that's a high school thing. Yeah, well, some guys never grow up past high school. <laughs> well, I don't think he had that in mind. How do you know? I just know. Well, we'll just agree to disagree, because I think he did. Wait a minute. He was always trying to talk to me, and when he did, he would put his foot in his mouth. There you go. So that snake in the drawer wasn't that sweet of him. So where is he now? He moved to another branch and married a teller over there. Well, case closed then. Yep, case closed. And you better keep that can closed. Oh, well, don't worry. This little snake will only strike when it has to. I'm just glad I'm not part of your little contest. Oh, you are, are you? Don't you dare, Gates. I mean it. I hate those things. I heard you, Joanna. I heard you. What did you hear? That you don't like these things. That's not what I said. Oh, I'm sorry. Your exact words were, I hate those things. 
And what else? That you are not playing our little contest. And what else? That you want me to stay away from you with it. Correct. Now, do we understand each other? Perfectly. She says that she hates you and that she's not playing our little game and that she wants me to stay away from her with you. What's that? I should put you in her file drawer. Gates! Good idea. See you, Joanna. Gates, don't you dare! Jamie, can you think of a word that rhymes with take? Take? Yeah. Bake? Lake? What you working on? Oh, Mr. Wheeler's got me writing this poem to help introduce the winners for the youth poem contest they had. Yeah, how's it coming? Well, uh, I really don't know, because, uh, I, guess, look, I am not good at writing poems, all right? I mean, I've already been working on this thing for two hours, and all I've gotten is seven lines. Well, let me hear what you got. Don't laugh. I'm not gonna laugh. Just for you, I write this rhyme. It's for free, won't cost a dime. I heard that every group did write a poem for Jesus. Yes, that's right. A number of poems we did read, and all were good, yes indeed. But the special poem that did take, and that's all I've gotten so far. It sounds good. Hey guys. Hey Gates. Hey Gates. Ooh. What you doing? Travis is working on a poem for the teen show Friday night. A poem? I love to write poems. You do? Yeah, I've written lots of poems. Oh, man, you should be doing this, not me. Well, what is it? They got me writing a poem to help introduce the winners for the youth poem contest they had. Sounds easy to me. Yeah, he's got some of it. Sounds good, too. Yeah, I heard some of it when I was coming in. And as a matter of fact, I got your last line for you. You do? Oh, yeah. Let me borrow your sheet. Just give me a minute. And while you're over there, Gates, why don't you go ahead and write me about two or three stanzas, too? Travis, what you've got is good. Jamie, it took me two hours to write that. <laughs> okay, Travis, I got it. Here it is. Just for you, I write this rhyme. It's for free. Won't cost a dime. I heard that every group did write a poem for Jesus. Yes, that's right. A number of poems we did read, and all were good. Yes, indeed. But the special poem that did take, the top prize will win a snake. A snake? <laughs> gotcha. 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 You got oh, yeah. You. You're lucky, man. No, 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 no. There is no luck with a sovereign God. I gotcha. That's <laughs> pretty good, Gates. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's pretty sneaky. No, no, no. That was pretty snaky. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's uh, one actor down and three to go. Mr. Wheeler's got a special routine he'd like you to do on the teen show Friday night. Okay. Uh, seems all these groups have been doing a study this year called Ride Through the Bible. And it's basically designed to help them learn some of the history of God's people in the Old Testament. The regional director called Mr. Wheeler, asked if we had an actor who could put together something and go along with what they've been learning. What you got in mind? Well, basically it'd be just sort of a timeline trip through the Old Testament. Um, Mr. Wheeler got a copy of the materials they've been using. You start with Adam, work your way up through Jesus. There's about 40 names to remember. Um, he thought maybe you could work in and do your New York City cab driver routine. That'd hold their attention. Ah, oh, yes, Rudy. I see what you're saying, Ma. You think you can do it? Well, it'll take some time to learn. You think you can do it? Yeah, sure. Tell Mr. Wheeler and that regional director that on Friday night, we'll take a ride through the Bible in a New York City cab. <laughs> okay, Gates. Travis, you seen Gates? No, I have not. Don't go anywhere. Okay, what is this for? I've got an idea to play a practical joke on Gates, and I need your help. Oh, okay. A long time ago, I knew this kid who did a trick where he could make a ball pass through a cup. Really? Yeah. The way he does this trick is, he sets a few cups on the table and turns them over. 
One of the cups is filled with water, and when you turn it over like this, the water stays on the table. Hey, that's pretty good, man. So, you and I will be sitting at the table on the stage, and we'll go through this routine. And then I'll arrange it so that Gates will sit down to actually think he's gonna learn the trick. When he goes to grab the cup of water. Splash all over his pants. You got it. <laughs> Jamie, that's brilliant. Yes, it is, isn't it? Hey, ladies. Hey, Gates. Gates. What are you doing? Working on our routine for the team show. Mr. Wheeler wants us to learn this song in Spanish because some of the youth groups went down to Mexico on a mission trip. And he wants us to learn one of the songs that they had learned. Only problem is neither one of us speaks Spanish. No. We've got the CD that's supposed to help. But it isn't helping much. <laughs> well, have no fear, ladies. The Lord has sent me to you this very day to help you out. See, it just so happens that not only do I speak with a Jamaican accent, man, but me also hablé espanol un poco. Yeah, I spent four years in the service down in the deepest part of Texas, and I learned the language pretty well, if I may humbly say so. That's great, Gates. You should be the one singing the song. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's not necessary. Look, Spanish is an easy language to learn, easier than English, as a matter of fact. All you have to do is to learn a few rules, and by Friday night, you girls will be singing this song like there's nothing to it. You really think so, Gates? I know so. Let me see what you got. I know this song. I have sung this song. This is gonna be easy. Our youth group used to do a routine to this song at our church down in Texas. You never cease to amaze me, Gates. Look, this song is about how we need to let the life of Jesus be first in our hearts. Our youth group did a little routine to the song, and I can show it to you. They wore Spanish costumes and sombreros and did a nice little dance routine. I remember it. Praise the Lord, Senor. When do we start? Well, I've got some time right now. We can work on the lyrics, and then this afternoon we can do the dance routine. Oh, gracias. Gracias, Gates. Okay, Mr. Wheeler, I'll try to come up with something. Thank you, sir. Uh, you're welcome. Bye. Hey, Jamie, what's up? Uh, that was Mr. Wheeler. He wants to know if I can do a little mime routine that the youth groups can learn. Hmm. The regional youth director said that one of the challenges being put forth to the youth groups is to try and be more visual in sharing the gospel. Mr. Wheeler wants to know if I can teach the kids how to share their faith without using words, just through actions. You got any ideas? No. I've always just told people the gospel. Why don't you try acting it out? Maybe, I don't know. I'll have to give it some thought. Well, it sounds like a good idea if you can come up with something. Yeah, if I can come up with something. Okay, Kelly, Andy, here's how we did this. We start back here. All right, when Rudy starts the music playing, at the very beginning, you take three steps, hold, three steps, hold. When the beat hits, you pick up your sombreros and you start singing. You got it? I think so. It looks pretty easy. It's very easy, and it looks good. Now get in your places. Okay, Rudy. I got both of them, a double header. <laughs> hey, he got you, ladies. Rudy, did you know about this? No, I didn't know, but I was just as surprised as you. Oh, Gates, that was so lucky. Yeah, that was very lucky. No, that was very smart. Uh, humbly speaking, of course. Now, let's see, that's three actors down and one to go. Jamie, show me how you did that, man. No, no, no. Good magician never reveals his secrets. Uh, but you're not a magician. I didn't say that I was, but that's what magicians always say. Come on, man. Show me how you did that. That was really good. Good. It was great. What are you talking about? Hey, guys. What's all the commotion? Gates, Jamie just did this trick with a cup and ball man that was really amazing. He can make that ball go through that cup. It's not a trick. It's an illusion to show how people can be fooled. It's a new routine I'm working on. I want to show how people can be deceived and relate it to Satan and how he deceives us. 
Is it good, Travis? Yes, it was really good. Really good? It was really great. What are you talking about? Was it that good, Travis? Yeah, it really was. Well, show it to me, Jamie. I'd like to see No, I just showed it to Travis, and a good magician never does the same trick twice. Uh, but you are not a magician. I know, but still, you should never do the same trick twice. Well, uh, Travis will turn the other way, then you can show it to me because I've not seen it, and it won't be the second time like it would be him. But I'd like to see it again, too. Nope, I don't think so. Oh, come on, Jamie. Show it to me. I'll be forever grateful. Yeah, me too. Oh, I don't know. Oh, come on, just show it to me. I want to see it. Ah, uh, that makes two of us. Okay, but look, Travis, if you start to figure it out, don't say a word. I won't. Won't say a word. Okay, sit down, Gates. Hey, guys, what's going on? Oh, Jamie's got this great new trick, and he's going to show me how to do it. Yeah, he can make that ball go through that cup. Oh, it's easy. It is? Yeah, easiest trick in the world. Well, can you do it? Sure, here, let me show you. No. Rudy, so I do is you no, 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 no. <laughs> Jamie. Sorry, Rudy, that was for Gates. Yeah, that was meant for Gates. I knew you were up to something, Jamie. Too bad Rudy didn't. Yeah, very I'm really Gates. sorry, Rudy. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Nice try. Pretty amateurish, but nice try. The contest isn't over yet, Gates. Yeah, he's right about yeah, that. Yeah, I know, I know. I've got one to go. Of course, now, Travis and the ladies, they were easy. But I've saved my best practical joke for last. And guess who I've saved it for? Me?